Hi, and welcome back to Be Creative Stamping. Today I'd like to show you how to make this adorable little jar gift tag using the Cannery Set Framelits. This is one of the tags that I made, and I even embellished the jar with some of our Orchard Harvest fabric. And this is um, a layered cookie recipe that was featured in our August Stampin' Success magazine. And I'll also post that to my blog so that you'll have the recipe. Let me show you one more gift tag. And this one I pretty much just changed the colors. Alright, so you can get a good little look at that. Let me show you some of the framelits that we're going to need. The first is the Biddy Banner framelits. We'll be using this little guy from the Biddy Banners. We'll also be using the cannery set and we're going to use the top of the jar and the jar itself. Alright, so you need both of those framelits and we'll even need the window frames collection and we're going to be using the littlest little guy okay out of that set and of course we'll be using the perfectly preserved stamp set if you don't already have this you need to get it because it's absolutely adorable to work with alright so let's get started um, in order to create this tag you're going to want to start with a piece of paper that is three inches by four inches and then you'll fold that in half and here's the trick you're going to lay your jar framelit on top of your folded piece of paper and this is the folded side right here and so you're going to want to lay it there and I'm going to bring this up closer so you can see it it's going to go through the big shot and when it does, this is how you want to have it folded and where you want to have that framelit. Also, I noticed something um, when having the folded piece of paper going through the big shot. This tends to want to pop up and then your framelit falls. And so if you'll take some dotto and just put a tiny, tiny little piece inside, that will hold your paper shut and it'll make it much easier to throw to roll this through the big shot. So here we go. You're leaving just a tiny tiny bit of space that will not be cut and you can always tell by turning it over and looking on the back and here's the blade so that's not going to cut where your folded paper is. Then you'll roll this through the big shot I'm just going to hold it there a few more minutes so that you can see the placement of the jar. Okay, so once you roll it through the Big Shot, it's going to turn out like this. And you'll need to open it back up and you may want to use this little rubber square to get your Dotto adhesive residue off the inside of the gift tag. Okay, that, help, that works out really well. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is some stamping and you will stamp this image here called Hello and this is in um, one of our new stamp sets and I'll put that on the, um, on, the, um, on the screen. You'll also want to stamp out in Lucky Limeade the top of the jar. And then what's really neat is you can lay your framelit on top of the jar lid and your other little framelit let's see if I can find it here I know I've got it the question is where have I put it but you'll also take the little framelit that goes here and lay that on top and then you can roll this through the big shot together so you, you'll cut twice and you'll only roll through once. I'm sorry, I can't seem to find my little framelit, but you would lay that on top. All right, then these little pieces will come out looking like this. So there's one and there's the other one. So let's stick this to our jar tag. 
All right. And we are going to uh, we'll put it the placement. Let's make it even here. Uh, about right there. How about that? All right. And then we're going to add a little banner with our um, designer paper. And the easiest way to do that is to cut a piece of your designer paper. All right and lay the banner there and roll that through the Big Shot, okay? And then you'll come out looking like this and you are going to attach a Stampin' Dimensional to the back and you are going to lay this across the words that say hello. And then we'll stamp our thank you image. The thank you is also included in the perfectly preserved stamp set. So you'll stamp that in Cajun Craze and punch that out and that is going to sit right on top of here. Then we'll add another dimensional and we're going to add this at the very top. This is where your uh, jar top is going to go. So let me peel this off. There we go. And we are going to put our little jar lid right there. And then we can add a button. I've already included, I've already tied the linen thread on and we're going to attach it with a glue dot. So let me get these out. And here we go. And then we can just stick that right there. And here we have an adorable little tag. Again, you can open it. There it is. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll show you the other one in the different colors. This one is more mustard, Lucky Limeade, and Cajun Craze. I use those through those three ink colors for both tags, but you could use any ink colors. So there we go. I will include the recipe under this video on my blog. And thank you so much for buzzing by.